Salutations ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maniacal Miniatures. In this video, I'll do an unboxing and review of the Eidoneth Deepkin Battle Force from Games Workshop. So stick around for that. So here we are guys, with the Eidoneth Deepkin Deep Search Rating Part A Battle Force from Games Workshop. In this box you get 26 Citadel Miniatures for the Warhammer Age of Sigmar miniature game. These are beautifully sculpted models, they're brand new, they came out this year. They are amazing sculpts, and we will see that in a minute. You have these great looking dudes in uh, almost uh, Greco-Romanic uh, armor. Uh, and yeah, almost, they have this very Atlantean feel, which I assume is uh, very much on purpose. You have these very cool looking almost tiger sharks and um, these blind elves, lower caste dudes, a higher caste of uh, elf and uh, the warrior caste. So these are um, three different tiers of, uh, of the society. And you would think that these eels are, well, it looks like they're almost just like three centimeters on these pictures and as on the website as well, but they're actually huge. As well as the this bloody uh, shark. So let's check that out in a second. But in this box you get one Ishran Tidecaster, which is a, uh, a, a caster hero. You get two of the Achillean Alopexes. So I believe they aren't selling that well. That was kind of like the, uh, the Gargans in the Iron Jaws box a few years ago. Uh, that was that was two years ago, and the um, the uh, gun hauler, which was thrown into the uh, what are they called? Character and Overlord Battle Force. We have three Achillean guards, um, which can be built two different ways, and uh, you have the the Marty Reavers, that which are the blind elves with bows, which are kind of amazing. They actually aim at something, and. Um, the Tender Marty Thralls. So let's open this box and remember to open it the right way so we don't have contents all over. I gave myself a paper cut, lovely. And here we are with the lovely contents of this box. It is a little empty <laughs> next to the uh, amazingly uh, tall and overfilled uh, Seraphon box, but that is uh, in. Uh, another story. Just look at how big that body is for that shark. And that's not the entire body, that's just the, the main of it. Here's the rest of the tail. Look at how long that is, that is like three centimeters. And the head is two centimeters as well, so this is almost like 10, 12, even more perhaps centimeters long. It's great, great size. And this would look really cool for conversions as well. Imagine getting one of these and then making a chariot, uh, the Little Mermaid style, with uh, two sharks being uh, pulling a chariot. That would look amazing. Anyways, let's just get this right out of this way here. And just look at this brew. We have here amazing sculpts. We have cool bits. We have these very piratey scimitar, saber swords. We have these uh, sickles and uh, the crests for the helmets, as well as uh, nets, which are really cool, little detail, uh, alluring to the fisherman-like nature of these fishing elves. Uh, a harpoon-looking spear, which is another nice detail, as well as the barbed spear here, another little scimitar, and some bottles. I would imagine that these are the bottles they fill with souls, as well as nets because that is the cool little lore tidbit from these guys. And these uh, actually cost uh, 55 pounds uh, for two uh, of these dudes here. That would be 55 pounds, that's half the value of the box right there, uh, as this is 100 pounds, as are the rest of the battle forces. Here we have the Isherin Tidecaster. She's actually 15 pounds, but you have some not some, but one very nice critter right here. This very special looking alien thing. Pretty cool. As well as some ruined elven uh, architecture right here. And uh, a really cool serene looking facial expression. Really nice model. Very nice sculpting on the cape. This is a cool looking 
do this. And here we have the eels. Just look at how long that is. That's crazy. I have a, I have a dwarf right here. <laughs> That's a dwarf. Look how long that is. It's at least four dwarfs long. That's the new measuring stock of the Warhammer world. These are really cool. Very nice sculpting on the skin. Um, and this, uh, as well as many of the newer Age of Sigmar models, will accept uh, shade very well because of all the creases and recesses, which is a nice little detail, which makes them quite easy to paint beautifully, I might add. And uh, yeah, we have more of the same here. We have some of these, um, uh, what are they, the, the Achillean Guard, which are the crested dudes, which are the same dudes, I believe, on the shark. And um, we have these nice looking spears, fins, a boatload of weapons, spears, harpoons, scimitars, helmet crests of different sizes and shapes. We have some possibly for the commanders and some for one of the types and one for the other. A cool little uh, pot and some flasks, very nice looking shield. Uh, shields, plural. Um, yeah, this looks great. And you get one of these. Oh yeah, one of these two sharks. Great. These are 30 pounds. 30 pounds for these three guys. This brew <laughs> alone is 30 pounds. That sounds expensive, but it is great looking miniatures. And um, we are moving on to this little sprue and what are these these are the, oh, sorry these would be the reavers the namati reavers with the bows there is a lot going on here I don't know if you can tell we have quivers bows capes cloaks whatever you want to call them and a ton of very dynamic post elves in beautiful armor these are very well rendered Oh, I feel like making one of these right now. Oh, and we have these very spooky heads. I hope this zooms in quite nicely on the camera. But all these heads are blind and have a rune on their forehead or a sigil symbol. Uh, I don't know what elves call it. I'm usually all about uh, dwarven culture and that's a rune. So we have some nice little daggers and some hands making ready to shoot the the, the arrows yeah and that's really all there is to it there isn't too much uh, fancy pouncy about this you do have a very nice little eel here a morena eel or something like that um, yeah cool looking sprue oh and these guys were 30 pounds as well so this is 30 pounds and this is 30 pounds and um, yeah these last guys the reavers no, not the Reavers, the Thralls with the great swords and the... That would almost be a scythe. It's like a half scythe, I don't know. And the great cleavers and stuff like that. They are also 30 pounds for 10 guys. So they actually match the pricing of the Witch Elves in this kit. This is some expensive 10 guys, I think, on their own. Oh, a little... Something something right here, a little um, hermit crab or something like that, a little squid, some uh, algae uh, or uh, yeah, some coral, pretty cool looking, has a lot of different things going on, a little fish. I like this, it's very serene, I feel like painting these and putting them in an aquarium. And we have some, um, some more blind guys here. All these uh, lower caste guys, they're all blind because they're born with a full soul, which is kind of creepy. They are the rejects. And of course we get the obligatory uh, bases. We have some big bases for the sharks. We have some slightly smaller bases for the eels. One for the caster, which is the same size as all the footmen. And some of these for all the sharks and eels to make them float. We get a War Scroll Battalion, not usable in matched play, but usable in open play. 
that's kind of fun if you're playing open play with your friends. And we get all these nice colored manuals for making these miniatures. And it also gives us some inspiration on how to paint them. Not that these are painting tutorials, mind you, but this is a nice little inspiration as to what colors to use. Yeah. So that's what you get for a hundred, a hundred pounds. But actually the value of this was 30, 30, 30, 55 and 15 pounds, which adds up to uh, 160 pounds. So you save 60 pounds getting this box. Or if you get it from a, um, a, a different retailer than Games Workshop themselves, you can probably get it 10, 20, perhaps even 25% off, which would make this an absolute steal, especially <coughs> uh, with newer miniatures like this. Um, this, is, this is a good deal. The Seraphon one is still better, but if this tickles your fancy uh, in, uh, in pure aesthetics or you were considered buying into Ideneth, I would go for uh, one or two of these boxes. It gives you a very nice core. You might get a bit too many of the sharks <laughs> because they are uh, the best in the meta at the moment. But that could change at any time because now they're starting cranking them out a ton of these, so they might want to make them even more playable. Thank you for watching. That was it for this unboxing and review of the item at Deepkin Battle Force, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, consider leaving it a thumbs up and subscribe at the red button down below as it helps me and my channel out a great deal and I really appreciate it a lot. I appreciate it even more if you'd share this with your friends uh, with whom you find uh, that this would be interesting. And uh, if you want to see the rest of my reviews, I will put up my playlist right here in front of this so you can check out the rest of the reviews of the other battle forces. And now there's just left to remember in the immortal words of, this, of the common saying, high tide race all boats. See you in my next video.